A good mother is someone who loves and nurtures her daughter. She also helps her to grow, mature, and become her own person. This is not, however, what a narcissistic mother does for her daughter. As with most relationships with a narcissist, the mother-daughter relationship involving a narcissistic mother is complicated. Instead of nurturing her daughter, the narcissistic mother often seeks to destroy her. There are several reasons for this, but I will discuss seven of the most common reasons why a narcissistic mother wants to destroy her own daughter. Let's get to it. Number one, she's jealous of her daughter. Like any narcissist, the narcissistic mother wants all the attention to be on her. Though she demands that her children be perfect, she doesn't want them, particularly her daughters, to outshine her. The tale of Snow White is perhaps the best illustration of this toxic dynamic. In the original version of the story, the Wicked Queen was actually Snow White's mother. She wished for a perfect, beautiful child, and in fact, that child was created from her blood. But the Queen was a narcissist, and as her child grew into a younger, more beautiful version of herself, she grew jealous and sought to destroy her. This is exactly what happens between narcissistic mothers and their daughters. My own mother would say terrible things out of jealousy for my youth. I remember she often told me I was ugly and that I would never find someone to love me. This was her jealousy that caused her to try to destroy my confidence and keep me from achieving anything in life. Number 2. Narcissist's Pathological Need for Attention What's really behind a narcissistic mother's desire to destroy her daughter is the narcissist's pathological need for attention. The cause of narcissism is rooted in the failure to develop a healthy sense of self. The narcissist buries their true self out of a deep-seated sense of shame and self-loathing. They construct a false image in its place, but they need external validation to prop up their self-esteem. To get that external validation, they manipulate the people around them into giving them the constant flow of adulation their damaged ego demands. This flow of adulation is known as narcissistic supply, and narcissists live in fear that it will be cut off. They also live in fear that what they believe to be their worthless true self will be exposed to the world. To avoid that, they crave positive external validation and deflect or deny any kind of negative criticism. Number 3. Form of Negative Gender Projection Though both the sons and daughters of narcissistic mothers suffer from their toxic abuse, the daughters often bear the brunt of her toxic abuse. She is the same gender, and she represents a direct threat to the superiority of her narcissistic mother. There are also cultural factors that come into play here. Women often learn that they should compete with other women for the attention of men, as well as for professional advancement and even social status. Women are often more concerned about what other women think about them than what men will think. The narcissistic mother truly embodies this cultural message, and her daughter is a direct threat to her own superiority. She is extremely envious of her youth and vigor, and she fears that her daughter will eventually destroy her. That's a big part of why the narcissistic mother is hypercritical of her daughter, and it's why she may seek to destroy her. She may interfere in her daughter's relationships with men, and in fact, she may even try to seduce her daughter's boyfriend or her husband. Number 4. Her Self-Loathing A big part of what drives narcissists of any kind is self-loathing. They may seem as though they are overly confident, but that is simply masking a deep-seated self-loathing and sense of shame. This gets back to that buried true self the narcissist buried long ago. For the narcissistic mother, it's common for her to project her self-loathing onto her daughter. 
daughters are the favored target precisely because they are the same gender and remind the narcissist of her lost youth. The narcissistic mother cannot accept her own lack of self-confidence because that would mean admitting a flaw. Narcissists risk a mental breakdown if they were ever to face the truth about what they feel inside. To avoid having to face her own self-loathing, the narcissistic mother will often project it onto her daughter. It is her daughter's problem for a plethora of valid reasons, but it has nothing to do with her. In the process of projecting self-loathing onto her daughter, she destroys her child's self-esteem. She becomes constantly critical of the young girl under the guise of trying to help her. Number 5. Wants Her Daughter to Be Dependent Healthy mothers want their children to become independent and fully functioning members of society. This is not, however, what the narcissistic mother wants. She strives to keep her children under her thumb, and this is particularly true of her daughter. The narcissistic parent sees her children as extensions of herself, and as such, they should remain dependent on her and tied to their mother for their entire lives. She doesn't want her daughters, in particular, to move out and have their own lives. If they do that, they will no longer be available to prop up their mother's ego when she needs them to do so. They also might reveal uncomfortable truths about their mother. It's too dangerous for the narcissistic mother to allow her daughters to become independent, even if they move out of the house as would be expected in many cultures, she still wants them to turn to her for approval of every decision they make. Number 6. Wants Credit for Daughter's Accomplishments Because the narcissistic mother sees her daughter as a mere extension of herself, she can genuinely convince herself that she is responsible for any accomplishments her daughter achieves. It feeds her ego to believe that she is the person responsible for giving her daughter any talents or abilities she has to excel. In her mind, it's really all due to her mothering that her daughter is able to do anything well. What's more, she expects to get the credit, and if that doesn't happen, she may seek to destroy her daughter for failing to be sufficiently grateful. In a narcissist's mind, you are either with her or against her. There is no in-between, and there are no neutral parties. If you're with her, you're all in, which means you put yourself second after her. You see that her needs are met first, and only then can you attend to yourself. The narcissistic mother expects her narcissistic daughter to credit her with every success she might achieve in life, if she doesn't do that, she becomes the enemy who must be destroyed. And number seven, to maintain control over her daughter. Almost all of a narcissist's actions are related to control. They need to have control over everyone in their life in order to get their narcissistic supply and avoid the exposure of their true self. They also fear abandonment and being seen as inferior. This makes them manipulative and controlling in every relationship. Narcissistic mothers have a distinct advantage. They can raise their children with that constant control. They can ensure their children see that level of control as normal, or at least they can ensure that it is true up to a point. When their children begin to go out into the world, maintaining control gets significantly more difficult. They can't control what their children will learn when they're not in their toxic mother's presence. They can, however, destroy their confidence when they return home and strive to make them dependent on their mother's approval. This is exactly what the narcissistic mother seeks to do with their daughters in particular. Her daughters represent competition more so than her sons. That makes them more of a threat and she feels an added need to squelch any form of independence or rebellion. Finally, mother-daughter relationships are often difficult as the child grows up and develops her own personality. 
Daughters want to become independent and create their own lives. For healthy relationships, that's normal, and any tensions are forgotten as the child becomes successful and independent. For the narcissistic mother, however, her daughter is like Snow White in the fairy tale, someone who will ultimately expose her mother for the wicked queen she knows herself to be. That is not something a toxic mother can allow. Toxic mothers make good use of emotional triggers, usually triggers they helped create to control and manipulate their daughters. If you're the daughter of a narcissistic mother, you need this free copy of my five-step roadmap to heal emotional triggers. It can help you heal those emotional triggers so you can stop the manipulation. Just click on the link below this video and I'll send it directly to your inbox for free. Thanks for watching.